hey guys welcome to a brand new vlog today is a friday so um we have a social tomorrow for our home sale so my cousin and i are gonna go out right now it's about lunch time first we're gonna do um a school pickup we're gonna pick up riley from school and then we're gonna run some errands probably just basically just buying food um for tomorrow so we are gonna have like a, a braai while hosting it at um savar gardens in block six so yes i attend my home cell in block six so yeah we need to get some cups some i think we're gonna make a cheese board we're gonna have a braai um garlic bread you know stuff like that we just need to get all those things so i thought let me start the vlog today i have wig lines under here so i want i have to wash my wig later on so that i can dry overnight and then i can use it for tomorrow and then yeah i mean i wanted to start the vlog now so that i say hi and then we can go to the event together tomorrow we'll go to the social together and see what goes on so yeah i really hope the weather is not going to ruin our plans because today was raining out of nowhere it started raining so i really hope tomorrow we won't have that problem so yeah let's go I ain't got a clue, bro. I said five in the morning. I wake up to five for my eyes. Yeah, in my mind is a warning. Pray to the one you're relying. I've been wandering all day. Tried to be fine, but I can't be. The noise in my mind would it leave me. Trying to get by, but I'm burning. So, today is D Day. We are actually at Savoy Gardens. And yeah, we just did the setup, everything. I will insert a clip right here. So I just want to move everything over to this side because of the sun, obviously. So I'm going to hide this quickly before everyone else arrives because we're going to have like a, an Easter hunting. Yes. Yeah. 
Hey guys, um, welcome to another day in this vlog. Um, our social went really, really well. Um, we ate everything, man. We ate every single thing. All the drinks were done. People loved it. People loved the, um, the setup. It was cute. It was cute. It was, you know, intimate. We danced. Ah, I love it so much. I, I love my home cell. So, um, yeah, Sunday, yesterday, I went to church uh, with my partner. And then what do we get up to? Yeah, just that we went to Mamsi's house. I was doing her nails. We just chilled, you know, ordered some food and stuff. So today is a Monday. I'm actually in the car. So we came to Main Mall. We, um, so my partner and I came to Main Mall because he had a meeting here. So I'm just sitting in the car. I got um, a really nice coffee and a really, really nice... Mm, is it a scone? The guy calls it a... Uh, temptation something, something. He's by Diamond Square. I really, really love his service. He's such a nice guy. So I got a cappuccino as well as that temptation whatever thing. Um, yeah, I think his prices are quite reasonable. Now I'm just waiting for my partner to finish with his meeting. We're gonna quickly go home. I need to finish. I'm actually making um, croissants. And then I need to wash um, two wigs. One for Wakang and then the other one is mine. And then what am I gonna do? Oh, Riley got a new bed, but at her grandmother's house. So I need to get um, a mattress cover for that. So we're gonna go to Game City. Yeah, I think, I think that's... Can you guys believe I made these? Oh my god. Okay. The croissant. So my girl is doing really well at school. I went to her school. Um yeah, so we are going to celebrate. She's going to have Rock and Mamas for the very first time. It'll be your first time, eh? Oh, shame. She's going to rock her mamas for her very first time. So I thought, let me include this in the vlog. Let's just see her reaction. I'm sure she's gonna love it though. Yeah. She's gonna love it. I like sushi. I like, I like sushi. Yeah, she's going to love it. Hey guys so i think i last vlogged um a week ago we had a funeral honestly the last time i vlogged oh thank you 
um sorry about that the last time i vlogged was when i think i was with my partner well i don't know i got some coffee in main mall i think yeah so today is a saturday so we went to um a funeral a family member passed away so i didn't want to vlog that part i was exhausted from the funeral etc so it's only now that i'm picking up the camera i hope i think i tend to relax once i know i have a vlog coming because i have a vlog for next week i relax with vlogging so yeah i did change my nails in case i did not show that part in this vlog so yeah i was trying to install this wig i didn't iron it because i can't find my iron um bagang took her hot comb so it's looking a little bit crazy but i'm taking Riley to a birthday party my cousins are going to a family fun day so my cousin maggie won a yeah a competition the kids are making noise so i'm gonna go now i'll see you guys later we're gonna pass by the shops to buy our gift because i'm that mom that's always passing by the shops to get a gift on my way to the party i don't know why but i've turned into this person so yeah let's let's go <laughs> So we're uh, here. Yeah, I actually bumped into Barbara Dipuka at the at the mall. So yeah, let's go. Um, the kids are actually supposed to be doing horse riding. It did say in the invitation that they should come in long pants and boots. So yours. Let me take a call. So you like your horse? Not really, but I like horse riding. You liked horse riding? Yeah, but I didn't like my horse. Would you do it again? Uh, well, for a living, no, but I would do it again. <laughs> That's my bro, my family, frozen trains. When it comes to money, I they concentrate. Look at the new streets, you are not my mate. If you become a son, I'll be head of state. But my people then go say, I don't want to 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 I still want to know.
Cut your edge out, so I To, I wanted to sorry I wanted to close off um, this vlog and then I remembered I don't have an outro and I just left you guys hanging I have been doing that the, this entire vlog I do apologize for that so the party was amazing really had so much fun we love Lodwan we're definitely gonna go back there I highly highly recommend the place to everyone to family outings I highly recommend it and our host for the party much love. It's a hot, much love. <laughs> that is tiny. Much love. Yeah, that's okay. So, um, and then we went to church. Church was amazing. You guys should come to church. Really, I'm inviting you to come to church. So, yeah, I have been promising to do the Cape Town Breakdown vlog. Well, not even a vlog. Cape Town Breakdown video. So, this is it. So, I'm just going to try to wrap up because I don't want to be... I don't want to take long because I'm actually going out to home, so I don't want to be late. So, I was going to say, we booked accommodation. Accommodation was four nights. Accommodation was four nights in Cape Town and two nights in Joburg. One going to um, Cape Town and then the other day was when we were coming back. So, sorry. So, we booked a bus to Joburg from Khaburoni. Um, What is it called? We booked Flight Connect from Khaburoni to Joburg and then from Joburg to Khaburoni. It's 500 rand, 500, 500 pula, sorry, 500 pula per trip per person. So that's already 1,000. And then for flights, we flew um, Lyft from Joburg to Cape Town, which was 1,000, I think 1,230 pula each person. And then our accommodation was 2,500 and... 60 bula somewhere around there for four nights for two people so yeah we booked um wax apartments wax one apartments it was really good it's in the center of cape town it's in the cbd so it's really not far from um, many places that you'd like to go to so ubers were not as expensive but for some reason we spent a lot i don't know how so our ubers combined everything i think we spent around 2300 in bulas 2300 2200 in bullas so literally please budget that much or even more depending on where you are staying so we initially wanted to book wink apartments we got them on booking.com check airbnb as well but we use booking.com to book our accommodation and then we literally just searched on the internet um drove back to cape town flights we found a few we went with the one that we felt like we could afford we would see sometimes flights of almost 777 but that's literally for one person and we wanted to fly in the same flight so that's why we ended up booking one that was slightly higher but it's okay if you keep checking if you keep um refreshing your tabs you will find um cheaper flights if you want um from Botswana, i know you can fly directly to cape town using air Botswana, but we felt like air Botswana was a little bit expensive and unreliable because of you know past experiences from family friends etc so that's why we just decided you know what we're gonna do that obviously we incurred an extra cost we had an extra cost um because we wanted well the initial plan was to sleep at tapsa's house taps friend's house but she built on us she built out on us last minute so we paid the accommodation in Joburg. i think was 270 pula i think around 320 rents so yeah that's how much we spent going there and coming back 
and then what else do we spend on that's literally it for wood because we negotiated um to 200 rands per person but you can go lower honestly if you're good with negotiating you you can go low like really low and then Kristen Bosch entrance was 90 rands per person um and then obviously the food honestly depends on your budget what you want you get a menu you pick what you can afford from there but i initially oh also we did um cycling cycling was 90 rands per person but we incurred an extra cost of 40 rands per person because we took too long with the bicycles and then i think the rest of the amount honestly was from us shopping and eating out and you know drinks and all that so i think i initially thought i was gonna spend around three thousand but i think i spent my um, five thousand seven hundred pula that's around that much excluding flights excluding um ubers excluding no actually including ubers excluding flights so five thousand excluding flights excluding accommodation excluding yeah so literally five thousand seven hundred in pulas on shopping food drinks ubers or bolt etc i don't know on what because i don't have the evidence honestly but that's how much i literally spent on my account that's what it shows so yeah i think yeah we didn't book anything prior in terms of activities because of the weather obviously the cape town weather fluctuates so we don't want the hassle of having to you know to ask for a money bag if we can't do stuff or maybe you know so we literally booked everything on the day we were supposed to do it so yeah that's all I'm, that's all i'm gonna say other than that we didn't use an agent we were riding solo we used google it was not our first time going to cape town so i think that's what gave us the confidence that we can actually do it without an agent but we had fun it was just the two of us accommodation was great security was amazing for two ladies traveling together we did good we were great we i don't think we ever had any scares you know of i don't know people stealing us you know kidnapping and stuff we were actually very safe covered by the holy spirit and everything we had fun so yeah i think did i leave anything out if i left anything out you guys can comment in the comment section i'm more than willing to assist anyhow i can so yeah we used what flight we used sim air or chem air flying back from cape town to Joburg it was 1300 i think that's what i forgot to mention other than that i think i've covered everything about our trip so yeah Bye guys, I'll see you guys in my next vloggy vlog. It's gonna be exciting. <laughs>